Hello fashion sewers. I'm off to take my machine for its annual service and what happens when you have an annual service is that um, the inside of the machine where you can't necessarily reach after you've cleaned a machine on a regular basis say once a week or after you've finished a sewing project um, the professionals they will actually get to the part of the machine that needs a good clean and um, I'm off to do I'm off to take my machine now so why don't you come with me as we go and see what's going to happen when you actually take it for a service. Hello I'm Alan Bamba, uh, Bamba Sewing Machines and Colleen has brought her sewing machine in today for a service, her annual service and Colleen has asked me to go through a few of the points as to why you should bring your sewing machine for service and take your machine to your nearest expert dealer for maintenance and repair. So, regular sewing machines. In this case, we've got a Benina. Um, most people will use the machine on an average to heavy use basis uh, throughout the year or two before you have it serviced. And it's important to maintain the machine, keep it sewing well and provide a good sewing quality that you do have it serviced. You will no doubt think the best thing to do is clean out the raceway and oil it from time to time, which is perfect. It will keep the machine running smoothly. Yeah. But there are other points, if I can show you on this Benina. First of all, after some heavy use through the year, your needle bar timing may come adrift. Also, the shuttle timing, which is in the this particular instance, this raceway here, it's the same on most machines, there's some kind of raceway driver. Belts can come loose and also things like foot controls may need adjusting, cables might start developing faults and inside the machine the most important thing, especially especially with heavily, heavily used machines, is the motor. Now the motor has a uh, commutator on it which builds up a carbon deposit and if that goes on too much it will begin to burn the spark. Now that needs to be cleaned off and all of these things we go through on our particular repair sheet. You can see here we've got a, a 46 point checklist and to give you a little bit of history Donkeys years ago, Dad had a, a Volkswagen uh, minibus that he took in for service at a local dealer. They had a similar thing, he copied that, applied it to all the major points on the sewing machine resetting and maintenance, and we use it for our checks. After everything is done, cleaned, reset, and tested, we sew the machine off and rebalance all of your tensions, which again is important because a lot of the problems that people have with machines are tension based. And after all of these things are repaired and reset, we'll have a nice machine back that's running well and sewing smoothly. Hi, I'm back. I've dropped off my sewing machine. First of all, there's nothing else I can add to the video. I just want to thank Alan very much. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog. 